Yeah, hard to believe it's now been an entire year since Oregon officially entered into the pandemic with the state's first positive diagnoses. And it has certainly been a big change in all of our lives and even culture. Fox Hills' Kendra Kent is live tonight with some reflections from two locals very much thrust into the thick of the virus. Kendra? Yeah, that's right, Wayne. And today we did interview the first Oregonian to officially test positive for the virus. This is somebody who we've interviewed a lot here at Fox 12. We also spoke to a frontline doctor about how she's been navigating the pandemic and patient care. It's often joked that this pandemic feels like it's lasted a decade or more. But here in Oregon, we actually just hit the one year mark from the state's very first case. And it's been just over a year since the first Oregonian was diagnosed with COVID-19 on a cruise ship off the coast of Japan. We are planning something for like late fall, November-ish. So going to take a trip. And so hopefully as long as everything's opened up and all of that. A vacation around Australia and New Zealand by ship because the Frasers still love their cruises, despite how their trip a year ago on the Diamond Princess upended their lives. Rebecca Fraser spent a month in a Japanese hospital with mild COVID symptoms while her husband Kent was stuck on the ship in quarantine for weeks. It's one of those uh, once in a lifetime sort of experiences um, that it's it's just kind of who we are now and it's something that uh, you know that we will always remember but it's it's also part of like you know, how we interact with people how we um, perceive different situations doctors too say one year later the pandemic has likely forever changed their profession I do anticipate that some amount of virtual care will remain part of my regular practice. Dr. Robin Liu, a family physician, now does about half of her appointments online or over the phone. She says her clinic by now has developed a solid routine, but the weight of being a frontline worker is heavy. There's just this kind of low-grade toxic chronic stress that everybody is under. Now fully vaccinated, Liu says she's still as cautious with COVID as ever for the sake of her unvaccinated family. The pandemic one year later, that so far still very much feels like 2020. There's just been this sort of sameness to week after week after week. And I think that comes down to not having the kind of markers of time passing that we're used to. And one other thing I want to mention that people might want to look out for, the Frasers are part of a documentary about COVID and the cruise ship they were on. It's called The Last Cruise. It's actually uh, being produced by Kent Frazier himself, and it premieres on South by Southwest, and then it will be out on HBO later this month. Reporting live tonight, Kendra Kent, Fox 12 Oregon.